politicians in the Australian state of Victoria are on the road to riches, having already received a massive pay rise on the 16th of September this year, with another one due on the 1st of July 2020. In total, Premier Daniel Andrews and his ministers will receive an 11.8% pay increase, with Andrews' salary rising $46,500 per year, bringing his total salary to more than $441,000. Other MPs will see a more modest increase of 3.8%. This means the Premier of Victoria will be the second highest paid politician in Australia, second only to the Prime Minister, who has a salary of almost $550,000. As a kick in the guts to the people who do actual work, Victoria's public sector workers such as paramedics, police and train drivers will only receive a 2% increase. To be fair to the politicians, their salary is actually determined by the so-called Victorian Independent Remuneration Tribunal. One must wonder how independent they really are though, as the tribunal was established by the Andrews government and its chair, Warren McCann, who has a long career in senior public service positions, is paid at a daily rate of $1,217, although it's only a part-time position. Fellow tribunal members, lawyer Jennifer Acton and Barbara Belcher, also a former senior Commonwealth public servant, are paid $1,100 a day. As the news headline says, they're raking it in. I think the Independent in the Victorian Independent Remuneration Tribunal is similar to the Democratic in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, but I might be just being cynical. When asked if the decision passes the metaphorical pub test, Andrews replied, You can make your own judgments about those matters. I'm not a commentator on these things. I think some people would be upset about any pay rise for politicians. Other people would take a different view. I made a commitment to make this an independent process, and I've delivered on that. When asked if he works harder than ambulance drivers and police, he said, Self-praise is not worth a lot anyway. Me and my team work as hard as we can every day to deliver against the commitments we've made. I acknowledge we are well paid for the work that we do. When asked about the independence of the tribunal regarding the pay increase, he said, I've had no involvement in this. No member of parliament has any involvement in this. The government said, well, look, let's change the system. Let's give it an independent tribunal to take it out of the hands of the pollies. And they've brought down a decision. My pay, the pay of politicians, has not been set by me. When asked about the miserly 2% increase for public sector workers, he said, The wages policy of the government has to be set by the government, so there is a very big difference. The wages policy is as stated. The Treasurer has laid that out very clearly, and I've got no plans to change it. United Voice Victorian Secretary Ben Redford had these words to say, We're looking at a situation where Victoria would have the best paid politicians but the worst paid paramedics. I challenge Daniel Andrews to find one Victorian who thinks that's okay. Leader of the Victorian Nationals and Deputy Leader of the Opposition Peter Walsh criticised the pay increases. I think it is obscene that we see the Premier of Victoria getting such a large increase, while he's actually telling workers they shouldn't get an increase. It's absolutely hypocritical of the Premier, and the fact that he hid from the media and went to Shepparton unannounced shows that he is just ducking this issue totally. It is Mr Andrews' legislation. It is his special Minister of State that has been driving this. He should be accountable to the people of Victoria. At the federal level, unemployed people will see their new start allowance increase by a whopping $3.30 a fortnight, or a bit under 24 cents a day. According to Woolworths Online, that means you'll be able to buy an extra packet of chicken-flavoured noodle soup or a 12-gram lollipop every second day. Woot. Although there used to be a time when the New Start payment was almost the same as the pension, those days are gone. New Start is now only about two-thirds of the pension. If this trend continues, by 2070, New Start will be only half of the pension. If you're still unemployed by the end of the century, expect it to be only about two-fifths. I suggest using your $3.30 pay rise to stock up on chicken-flavoured soup and lollipops as soon as possible. What are your thoughts? Are politicians paid too much? Is the Victorian Independent Remuneration Tribunal actually independent? Maybe I've got it all wrong. Maybe the Democratic People's Republic of Korea is actually democratic. Let me know below.